Uh, it rests on several legs. Uh, we, my team works with traditional strategic communications, which is to proactively uh, communicate about the EU in the best possible way to explain our values and our policies before some other threat actor plants a distorted image uh, of our policies and our values. Uh, and the second leg is to actively monitor and analyze uh, disinformation patterns in the Western Balkans because it is a, is a huge challenge. It's an uphill battle and it changes uh, it goes through different phases and we need to keep track of what is happening, simply. Uh, I think it's very difficult to talk about an exit strategy. This will be a long-term problem. Uh, if there is any comfort in the fact that Russia does not actually have an ideology or a strategy, it is just there to spoil, to disturb and to sabotage. And it, we will do our utmost to show this uh, to people uh, and it will eventually hopefully become clear that Russia is here using the Western Balkan countries as a pawn in a bigger game and it has no interest in the Western Balkan countries that includes uh, Serbia. It is only there to make things worse for its own uh, benefit. That is the, the strategy of Russia and that is what we are fighting against. Uh, the Chinese influence is uh, in, uh, in certain ways much more subtle. China is, uh, and this is uh, universally seen across the world, uh, they want to project an image of an uh, economic partner who is there to contribute to economic development. It is not as harsh and as explicit as the Russian disinformation, uh, which is also uh, hard for us to analyze because I really don't want to speculate. It's very hard uh, to pinpoint exactly what Chinese disinformation is uh, or, or the extent of it. Uh, so I think uh, when it comes to China, we're still at the early stages of trying to figure out what the end game is and how severe the problem is. But of course, uh, China is an actor in this field as well. Well, my message from Brussels is that uh, as of last year, it is actually uh, formally a requirement for all candidate countries in the Western Balkans uh, to close space for this information. Uh, so now it is in the association process where even governments are obliged to help society to combat this information. And this partly should mean, at least in long term, to provide more resources to FEMI defenders in all fields, uh, to increase their efforts uh, to improve media literacy in schools. Uh, so uh, uh, it's a whole society approach and everybody needs to be involved. And that includes promoting professional journalism, which means ensuring that professional investigative serious journalists have the best conditions to do their job. And that usually means getting more resources.